Hello, I'm Rich Bowman with NASA's Office of Inspector General. Since the end of the Space Shuttle program in 2011, the Russian Soyuz capsule has served as the sole means of transporting U.S. astronauts to and from the International Space Station, or ISS. In 2010, NASA contracted with Boeing and SpaceX to develop commercial capabilities to transport astronauts to the ISS. As of May 2019, the commercial crew program had obligated approximately $5.5 billion out of $8.5 billion awarded for this effort. However, regular crewed missions on commercial carriers likely will not occur before summer 2020, three years after originally planned. We found that Boeing and SpaceX each face technical and safety issues that need to be addressed before they are cleared to provide crew transportation to the ISS. Given the number and magnitude of these technical issues, we found the program will continue to be challenged to establish realistic launch dates in the future. NASA likely will face a reduction in the number of crew aboard the U.S. segment of the ISS from three to one beginning in spring 2020, given scheduled delays in the commercial crew program, coupled with a reduction in the frequency of Soyuz flights. Options for addressing this potential crew gap are limited and include purchasing additional Soyuz seats, if available, and extending the missions of ISS crew members. A reduction in the number of crew aboard the ISS's U.S. segment to a single astronaut would limit tasks primarily to operations and maintenance, leaving little time for scientific research needed to meet NASA's human space exploration goals. We found that for the last four planned crewed missions, NASA paid Boeing an additional $287 million above its fixed contract prices to address a potential 18-month gap in crew access to the ISS, gain mission flexibilities, and ensure the company continued in the commercial crew program. In our judgment, the additional compensation to Boeing was unnecessary given that there was a minimal risk of a crew gap at that time. NASA also could have saved $187 million by ordering two instead of four additional missions in 2016 and not paying for one of those missions earlier than required. We made five recommendations to NASA to improve the commercial crew program and ensure that future payments to contractors for additional services are appropriate and necessary. To read the OIG full report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov.